As schools resume on Monday, 21st of September, the harsh economic situation in the country may make it difficult for some parents to send their children back. Plus, TV Africa's Mary Chinda brings us updates on the level of preparedness with both the parents and students. It is a great day here at the Victoria Island Senior Secondary School at Victoria Island of Lagos State. This is not unconnected to the fact that after six months of school closure, a new school session is underway. It is Monday, September 21st, the day the Lagos State Government has announced for schools to resume physically, though only for JSS 3 and SS2 students at the moment. I'm really happy that we are allowed to resume school today because it's been a bit stressful and tiring at home. Dawudu is a school principal here. He updates us on what's in the offing for students. Uh, we're happy to be back to school. I haven't stayed at home for six months. He clears the air on the report that students may move into a new session without examinations. It's a new session, uh, but at the same time, assessment has to be done. I'm going by the directive of the government. We, they are in school now for revision, at least two weeks revision, before they proceed on the exams. Okay? The exam will take about one week before they finally resume for the new session. The successful ones will move to the next class. You can't just move them to the next class. While students are resuming, observers say that the pockets of many parents may feel the weight of paying heavy school fees as it appears that low-income parents like Amina Bakari, a roadside food vendor, may be worse heat. In March 27, 31, lockdown. Resuming school today doesn't really mean uh, I have the money to pay now. Because um, the position of things in the country is a bit difficult to pay the school fees now. If I'm preparing for um, house rent now, the school fees now come in, a lot of things, so it calls for worry. As schools resume, it is the desire of the federal government that both schools and parents ensure that children observe the COVID-19 protocols. Mary Chinda reporting for Plush TV Africa.